how to buy secondary market treasury inflation protected securities. Tips on Fidelity. Hello, members, super savers, and bond course fans. This is what we'll be talking about in today's step by step tutorial. For all of you who've requested this video, many thanks for your patience. So, as many of you know, my general preference is to buy treasuries at auction. But there are times when you may want to buy on the secondary market. For example, if you want to know the exact price and or yield that you'll be getting. And there are also times when you may need to buy on the secondary market. For instance, if you're building out a bond ladder like this five-year bond ladder example from our bond master's course, but with tips rather than nominal treasury notes. The treasury only issues tips in maturities of five years, 10 years, and 30 years, meaning that you could buy this five-year tips at auction or on the secondary market. But these other four maturities here, you will have to purchase them on the secondary market. Bond masters, folks, please refer to module three, bond ladders and other bond strategies, and in particular to these two videos here if you need a refresher on why you may need to turn to the secondary market if you're building a bond ladder in certain rate environments. And bond beginners, folks, please refer back to module six on tips if you need a refresher on any of these tips specific details that we'll be referencing in today's step by step tutorial. If you're not in our bond courses, these introduction to tips videos that I've linked below should give you a good first overview to treasury inflation protected securities. As usual, here's our front of video disclaimer. For a detailed disclaimer, please refer to the end of this video. Let's dive in now, folks. First, let's log in. Here's my summary screen. Let's click on news and research. From the pull down menu, select fixed income bonds and CDs. And this is the screen that will appear. Let's scroll down a bit now to get a better view. If I know the QCIP of the tips I'm looking for, I can just enter it here. Let's assume that I don't know the QCIP of the tips I'm looking for in this instance, in which case I'd click on the bonds tab here. And this is the screen that will appear next, showing me that there are 609 treasury QCIPs that are currently available on the secondary market on Fidelity's platform. To narrow this down, I'll click on tips secondary because I'm looking for tips on the secondary market today. And I'm taken to this tips secondary market screen. We can see that the number of available QCIPs has come down dramatically. So let's say that I'm trying to find tips on the secondary market that will mature in five years. I would enter January 2029 in this box here and December 2029 in this box here. And this brings us down now to just five available QCIPs that match my search criteria. I'll click on C5 QCIPs here. And this is the search results page that appears. Let's scroll down so that we can see all five QCIPs. In this column, we have the option to click on the buy or sell buttons directly. In this column, we have the description. If I wanted to learn more about this tips here, for example, I would just click on the description here and this box pops up with more details on the security. Going back to our previous screen now, here's the coupon and the maturity date for each of the tips shown here. The call date column is empty because tips, like all U.S. Treasuries, are generally not callable. Here we have the Moody's rating. I'm not sure why the S&P rating column is empty, but for reference, U.S. Treasuries as an overall category are rated AA plus by S&P. Here we have the bid section, which is what I would look at if I wanted to sell any of these tips. For this tutorial, we'll focus on the ask section because we want to buy tips, not sell them. Here is the price per $100 par value that I would have to pay assuming I purchase within these maximum and minimum quantities here. And do keep in mind that while this is the price per $100 par value, these quantities here are quoted in thousands. So this 5,000 here means that the maximum purchase quantity available at this price is $5 million par value. And this 100 here means that the minimum purchase quantity required to get this price is $100,000 par value. 
in this column is the adjusted price per $100 par value. This is the actual price that I will be paying in cash per every $100 par value of these tips that I buy. Because remember, tips principal values are adjusted monthly based on the previous month's inflation numbers. So to calculate this adjusted price per $100 par value in this column, I have to take the inflation factor from this column and multiply it by this price per $100 par value here. Bond beginners folks, this may be a good time to review this video here if you need a refresher on how to adjust tips principal value for inflation. Bond masters folks, you can find that video in the bonus bond vault here. And if you're not in our bond courses, I've linked this video in the video description below for you because adjusting tips principal value for inflation is not exactly straightforward, especially if you're a bit newer to tips. Let's go back to this search results screen from before. This means that if I wanted to buy these tips, I would have to shell out at least $102,596 before accrued interest. That's this 102.596341 adjusted price per $100 par value multiplied by this minimum purchase quantity of $100,000 par value. And once more, this 102.596341 adjusted price is this inflation factor here multiplied by this price per $100 par value here. This column shows the yield to worse and the yield to maturity, which again are the same because treasuries are not callable. And this is another point to remember. These are real yields, not nominal yields. As a refresher, if we take a five-year tips, the real yield on a five-year tips is equal to the nominal yield on a five-year T-note minus the market's expected average annual inflation rate over the next five years. Bond beginners and bond masters folks, you can find the nominal versus real yield videos here. Let's go back now to these tips here from our search results screen. And let's say that I don't have $102,596 lying around for this step-by-step -step tutorial. What if I only want to buy a $1,000 par value of tips instead of this minimum purchase quantity here of $100,000 par value? Well, in this case, I would click on this blue icon in the depth of book column. And here's the screen that would pop up. And down here, I'll focus on the ask prices section, because again, I'm interested in buying tips today, not selling them. So let's select these tips here because I only want to purchase a thousand dollar par value of tips. And if you're wondering why I chose this tips in particular for this tutorial, it's because it was the only one from these search results here that when I clicked on this depth of book column had a minimum purchase quantity of $1,000 par value. All these other options here had minimum purchase quantities of $5,000 par value or more. As we talk about often on this channel, and even more so in our Bomb Beginners course, while treasuries as a general category are considered to be the safest most liquid fixed income investment in the world. Tips specifically are often less liquid than nominal T-bills, T-notes, and T-bonds overall. So going back now to the depth of book screen for the tips example we're using in today's step-by-step -step tutorial, and specifically to this selection where the minimum purchase quantity is $1,000 par value. This is the price I would be paying before adjusting for inflation. And this is the real yield that I would be getting. Let's hit buy. And this is the screen that appears next. Up here, I would select the account that I want to purchase my tips in. Now, let's click on this little circle to make my selection. And then let's scroll down and put a one here in the quantity box. Remember again, a one here means that I'm buying $1,000 par value of tips. I'll make sure it says buy here and reconfirm the price. I can't change anything here, so I'll click preview order and this is the screen that appears. Let's first double check the information up here for accuracy. 
keeping in mind that this price here is not the price that I'm actually paying, nor is this the real yield I'll be getting because my order does not meet the minimum and maximum purchase quantities here in order to get this price and this real yield. So let's scroll down for more details on the numbers that are actually relevant to me. This one here means I'm buying $1,000 par value of these tips. Here is the price per $100 par value. The price with markup per $100 par value is the same as this price here. Because there is no markup on tips, Fidelity does not charge any fees or commissions for buying secondary market tips on their platform. So if we multiply this price per $100 par value by this inflation factor here, we get to this inflation adjusted limit price per $100 par value for these tips of $102.620. This inflation adjusted limit price per $100 par value is the price we will actually be paying with our nominal dollars, the actual dollars out of our own pocket. But because we're buying a $1,000 par value of these tips and not $100 par value, we need to multiply this inflation adjusted limit price per $100 par value by 10, meaning that the overall nominal dollars, the actual dollars out of our own pocket that we will be paying is this inflation adjusted limit price of 102.62 times 10 or $1,026.20. Add this $1,026.20 to this accrued interest of $5.54, and here is the total purchase price for this order of $1,000 par value of tips. Once I verify my order information here for accuracy a final time, and I'm good to go, I'll click on Place Order. And there you have it, my fixed income friend, how to buy secondary market tips on Fidelity step by step. And if you need more details about accrued interest, then check out this detailed accrued interest video here that I've linked below for your convenience. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. And if you want to really learn about tips in detail and the easiest, safest, and most cost-effective way to start with bond investing while rates are attractive, then take a look at this video here on our 2024 bond courses. Or check out our member zone videos. I walk through how I would go about choosing tips on the secondary market in this upcoming member video. And in August, we'll have another live member Q&A on all things fixed income. Take a look at the links below this video for more details on our bond courses and YouTube Super Super Saver membership. All right, member super savers and bond course fans, wishing you a wonderful rest of the week and see you again very soon with more brand new wealth building content for your financial journey.